Good evening gamers, it may have been a quiet week with articles but it's been a huge week for gamers especially on the Switch. So before we gear up for the boss fight that we call Monday, let's take a recap with what's it like, save point. This was such a great surprise, Overwatch 2 PvE missions are actually really great and they've provided me hours of gameplay over the weekend. There's three missions all in all that tell a deeper story into the evolution of how Overwatch was reformed. Here's what we said. I feel the price is reasonable, especially for a free to play game, and as a casual Overwatch player, I acknowledge that I wasn't really invested in the promises of Overwatch 2 at launch, so I feel it's best not to comment on those. Instead, I will comment on what this pack is, an engrossing and action-packed addition to a great game that makes me care a lot more about the motivations of the characters involved. The lovingly crafted cutscenes, the narrative of the story, and the well-paced levels flesh out the characters' motivations and give players a deeper look into the world of Overwatch. Did you pick up the mission packs? Let me know if you did, I would love to hear your thoughts. Secondly, Vampire Survivors dropped on the Switch and it is incredible. Now if you're prepared to lose a lot of time into an addictive game, Vampire Survivors is where it's at. While it may not look like much, Vampire Survivors is a phenomenal game that will keep you coming back for more. Vampire Survivors proves that beauty is only skin deep with intricate mechanics, addictive and well polished gameplay and plenty to unlock and explore. How have you guys been finding it? I find that I've probably sunk about 6 hours in this weekend. It's great. I saddled up to test out the port of Red Dead Redemption on the Switch and despite it costing a fistful of dollars, it was still a wonderful and breathtaking game that runs really great on the Switch. There are some minor improvements but it's not very noticeable, it's still very much that game you played in 2013, but a fantastic game nonetheless. We awarded it a score of 74 out of 100 which may not sound great, but uh, 74 is still a fantastic game and a lot of those points reductions were due to the price. So if you've never played it before, add 20 onto that and it's a 94 out of 100, it's still a great game. Here's how we signed off on our review. Couple the lack of multiplayer with the price of a brand new release for a game that's $15 elsewhere with absolutely no improvements, it's a hard sell for those with an Xbox or even gamers who have played Red Dead before. This isn't the definitive version of Red Dead Redemption, just a handheld one. Now, I did have many people tell me their thoughts on the YouTube videos as well. We posted a gameplay video plus the review. Uh, I love hearing what your thoughts are and I try to join in the conversation. So if you leave a comment, I'm definitely going to answer that and have a chat to you about the game. So feel free to let me know your thoughts on the game or even the price in general. Just keep it respectful. That's all we have for this week. The embargoes have listed and we have a review for WrestleQuest as well as Mundearly. Both great games that deserve your time. Unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard of a game called Baldur's Gate 3. Now we're going to provide you with some alternatives of what you can play on the Switch that's very similar. We'll see you then.